Hey everybody, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'd like to talk to you guys about an awesome sale I had last night. September just seems to be a really good month for me. I've had some really great, awesome sales. Um, and last night I had another one. So, and my magic number, you guys, seems to be $450 because this is the third $450 sale that I've had this month. So it's kind of kind of odd, but really good. It's a good thing, right? So um, I had bought these boots um, a few months back. As you can tell, they're um, they're definitely leather and they're very intricate, intricate, intricately designed, embroidered with the butterflies and the flowers. Um, here's the other one. And so I paid probably about $15 for these at my local thrift store. And the brand is Old Gringo. So, um, yeah, I was very pleased to see these. And I also bought these at the same time, too. These are also Old Gringo. Now, I haven't listed these yet. Uh, shame on me. <laughs> but I do need to get these listed this week. I've already taken the pictures. I'm hoping to ask about probably about $2.50 for these. The price for this particular uh, style and color combination is, like, all over the board. There's different prices up. But I'm probably going to go high, you know me, <laughs> and ask for about $250 for these. So these are really nice good quality boots um, and they're also a good size too I think yeah these are an eight and a half and then these are a nine so I'd only had these probably about well maybe a little while probably about maybe about four or five months I've had them sitting in my store so um, and I did get an offer a couple months ago for like three hundred dollars and um, I turned that down, and um, when I got the offer last night for $450, and I was originally asking $599 for them. So I felt like $450 was a good offer, and I mean, I probably could have countered and gotten a little bit more, but again, I feel like $450 was a really good deal, and I didn't want to take the chance of them not replying, um, or not responding, rather, because I've noticed that um, some of you have asked me, like, I've, or they've said to me, I, I noticed that you just take the first offer you get and you never counter. Um, and the reason for that is because I would say 90% of the time, uh, the, the customer does not reply to my counter and I don't want to risk losing that customer. So, um, I feel like, you know, I only paid, I can't remember if I told you guys, I think I paid about 15 or 20 bucks for each pair at my local thrift. So that was a really good deal. And it was one of those things to where, um, it was just coming out of the bins, right? Like they were just rolling out some new merchandise and I happened to be there at the right time and uh, I saw the bins coming out so I went over there and I checked it out and I got um, I, I got some other boots too I don't know what I did the other ones maybe I've already sold some but they definitely weren't the old gringo brand but yeah so old gringo is a bolo you guys that is definitely a good brand you want to be looking for um, as far as I can tell they don't have like an old gringo storefront where you can actually go and buy just old gringo boots it's it's one of those things to where it's kind of like um, integrated into um, like just uh, the stores where you can go buy the Western boots. Like we have Cavenders here in Texas and um, places like that where you can buy them. So, yeah. And also I wanted to say, I'm glad I remembered, I don't make these videos to brag. Um, I make these videos so that you guys can learn from uh, my experience and my sales and, you know, for what to be looking for and what sells. And also, it's kind of fun. Um, I've talked about this with my friend Lonnie before. Um, it's kind of like having a little museum of items that you've sold, right? Because you, you have a permanent reminder of the item that you sold before you ship it out. So it's kind of like a collection of fun stuff that you've, you know, or higher end stuff that you've sold. So, um, yeah, excited uh, to have sold those. So I wanted to pull up my listing, and I was going to show you guys. Oh, wait, that's not the right one. Oops. Listen to me all breathing hard. <laughs> Sorry for that, you guys. I'm breathing too hard. Let me shrink me down. Okay, this one here is my listing. Um, so, yeah, um, I had them up for $599. And these are the different pictures I took. I still really like a uh, classic white background. I just feel like it really makes the pictures pop. I don't know why the different pictures aren't showing up. I'm clicking on them. That's strange. 
Let me double click and see what happens. Nothing. Well, that is really a bummer. Um, why is it doing that, I wonder? Oh, okay, now it's going to go. Now, why are they coming through small? You know, I tell you what, I'm so jinxy. Like, if a problem is is able to happen, it's going to happen with me. <laughs> right? What in the world is going on? I'm sitting here clicking on the different pictures and it's not coming up. Okay, well, we'll just have to come back to that maybe. But I did bring up a search, so I went and I typed in old gringo boots on eBay and I sorted uh, highest to lowest with the sold. And so I was just going to show you guys some of the ones that sold. Now, I think all the ones on the first two pages are brand new. So you can tell by looking at the pictures that um, their boots are really uh, intricately designed, especially these. These are really cool. Uh, Sugar Skull boots. Oh, and I like these too. Tigan. Those are really cool. So, yeah, and um, I think that mine are on the third or fourth page. Let me pop over there. Yeah, we've been having issues with our internet, but I shouldn't be having too many problems right now because my son's not home. He's a big gamer, and so like if I make videos in the evening, I always have to be really careful uh, that we're on you know different Wi-Fi's because um, those gaming, those games they like suck up a lot of bandwidth or whatever. Okay, so now it's going to tell me that I'm not reachable. So let's let's try Sheets too and see what happens. Maybe that was the problem with my other listing, or my listing that I tried to bring up a second ago. Okay, so come on. Okay, finally some pre-owned ones. And then they also have the lower cut boots, as you can see right there. Those are really pretty. I was gonna see if we couldn't find my listing on here. And here they are. Okay, so let's see if I pull them up. As you can see, they just sold last night, September the 19th. And I had them up for $5.99. I did do free shipping on these, you guys, because they were, you know, I made a lot of money on it, so I figured that's the least I can do is ship them uh, for free. And so where, let's talk about where I came up with my price. I had looked on WorthPoint, and I actually brought up WorthPoint for you guys to see too. But these same, uh, boots were not available. So I did see that a similar pair sold for about $500. So that's why, and they were used, and that's why I decided to go with the $599 price because I, I knew that I probably wasn't going to get $599 for these, but that um, hopefully somebody would make me a good offer and they did. So it all worked out. So let me click on this again and see if I can show you guys uh, the different pictures. Okay, now they're going to show it for us, so that's cool. So, I think they call this like, is that called snip toe? Snip, snip toe boots? And the heel was supposed to look uh, all distressed like that. At first I thought, why in the world? Like I thought maybe they were ruined or had some damage. But that is actually how they are made to look. And then that's what the bottom looks like. It says old gringo on it. This is actually rubber part right here. Um, so, and here's the inside of it, and there's another shot of the inside. They're made in Mexico, and these are a size nine and a half, the average width. So, wait, I don't know why that's up there. Um, let me pull up the worth point, or did that shut down? That might have shut down, you guys. Let me see if it comes. Oh, no, here it is. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Okay, so uh, worth point uh, is sorted from high to low. As you can see, they're at the top. And there are some of the ones that have sold. There's some more of those sugar skull ones. 
They sold for $650 back in 2014. So, and this, this sell another one here from 2009. So these boots really hold their value. That's for sure. Uh, there are some that sold for 500, 495. Oh, these are really cool. Calavera boots. It's cool. Those look like maybe men's boots or women's, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so living in Texas, I'm definitely prone to uh, have the opportunity to come across more boots, I feel like. So that's something if you also live in Texas that you definitely want to be taking advantage of, you know, are the boots. We live close to the coast. You might want to think about selling Hawaiian shirts. I love the Hawaiian shirts also. Um, so we see a lot of those at the thrift stores and garage sales and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that is really all I got for you guys today. I just wanted to come on and share this awesome sale that I had last night and, um, bolo for old gringo cowboy Western boots, you guys. So, um, thanks for watching. Please like the video and share it with your friends. Um, give me a thumbs up and we will see you on the next one. Bye everybody. Oh wait, it didn't close. Okay, bye, for real this time. <laughs>